Good afternoon and thank you for joining us here on West Virginia Midday. I'm Sydney Cooper alongside meteorologist Jessica Pash with a look outside yes. this afternoon. A scary afternoon for parents and kids in Grafton after a bomb threat forced the evacuation of Taylor County Middle School. Now the purpose is to give them the training in simulated combat environment with some of the real sights and sounds. Now a warning before we start the video, some images may be a little graphic. Teachers and other school service personnel were up at the start of the workday not to head to the classroom, but to hit the streets with signs like these. They say they need higher pay and fair premiums. And they won't head back to class until they get it. Breaking news this afternoon. A teacher at Lincoln High School has been suspended indefinitely for writing a controversial book that apparently includes personal details of the lives of his current and former students. Mike Valenti is looking into this developing story for us. Now he joins us live this afternoon in Harrison County. It's a story that rocked Clarksburg this week. Residents say they feel like justice will finally be served in the 1981 murder of a seven year old boy. You may just be waking up, but it's never too early to think about food. It's time for this week's recap of Tasty Tuesday. Now we traveled back in time a little bit to a well known diner in Fairmont. I am hungry. Are you kidding? And me? I want a milkshake and a hot unbelievable. dog. Right. The cheeseburger now. was like this tall. I'd eat it all. I promise. I would. If right I now. wasn't healthy eating right now, I'd be right at the pokey dot tonight. No. Day one is done. The first day of the statewide teacher walkout saw school canceled in all 55 counties. Sydney Tell us what's the mood like there at the start of day two. Kyle, it may be day two, but honestly, the mood here is equally as high, if not higher than day one. Teachers are back out here. They were back out here at 730 this morning. They have their signs in <laughs> hand. People are driving by, honking their horns. As you just heard, you can actually see the teachers behind me. In South Korea, Team USA is celebrating its first Olympic gold medal in women's hockey in 20 years. That is amazing. And this isn't just a change of uniform. You know, this is something that is commemorating history. What do you hope the students will take away from it? Uh, I hope the students and the players and, and even some coaches and parents understand uh, what Kelly Miller, the school, meant to the community. Time for a look at some of the top headlines from around the world this morning. President Trump's physician has given him a clean bill of health, both physically and mentally. Authorities are trying to figure out what led a 19 year old to carry out a deadly mass shooting at a high school he once attended. The Greek life saga continues at WVU as we've been telling you about a freeze on social and recruitment activities for the 16 fraternities on campus. Okay, One thing we're not looking forward to, though, the rain coming tonight, but it may be a chance to get close, hold yes. the umbrella, you know, that's definitely yes. going to be needed. Yeah. Blaring horns and loud cheers was the common thread tying together all 55 counties in West Virginia Thursday. That, along with thousands of teachers and school service personnel rallying together for the statewide walkout, leaving every public school closed. We love what we do. We're not asking to be rich. We just want to be able to make a decent wage. Those same feelings echoed amongst most in Taylor County as calls for higher pay and fair PEIA premiums went unanswered by lawmakers. They are hearing what we're asking for. Um, they're a little reluctant to help us out at the moment. On Wednesday, Governor Justice signed a bill that would give state teachers and public service personnel a 2% raise. It was met with little satisfaction. The raise that they're proposing is is more of less of a cut than it is a raise because our health benefits go up much higher. To break it down for you, the average teacher salary is $45,622 here in the Mountain State, down from the $58,353 average. That ranks us in close to last place at 48th in the nation. A lot of us are working second jobs or third jobs just to make ends meet. One school counselor believes making changes to current wages and benefits will only enhance the West Virginia education system in the future. We want to make the teaching profession attractive enough for our best and brightest for them to work right here in West Virginia. As for current teachers and school staff, they will be absent from the classroom yet again on Monday. They say the solution to end the walkout is simple. Legislators have to hear us compromise with our union leaders so that we are better paid and they fund our PEIA. Keeping you connected in Taylor County, I'm Sydney Cooper. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas for some Johnson Elementary School students. It's this Call of Duty set and it's Call of Duty Black Ops. The little ones were seen running through the aisles of Walmart picking anything their little hearts desired. Food. <laughs> Food. That's all she asked for. Sponsored by members of the community, the Shop for the Tots event makes the season a little more merry and bright for students and low-income families. Some of our students who might, you know, be fortunate enough to have a wonderful Christmas, to see things from other perspectives and to know what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes. From stylish clothes to the hottest toys, seniors from neighboring Bridgeport High 
High School served as Santa's helpers as the tots packed their carts. I can barely keep my kid under control because he just wants he just wants everything. He loves dinosaurs. That's his favorite thing to get. And I mean, he's a good kid. And I like him a lot. For some, waking up to a tree filled with presents on Christmas Day is not a reality. The annual event works to change that for as many kids as possible. Some of us don't understand what it's like to not be able to get these toys and have 500 presents underneath our Christmas tree and to be able to give back like that's great. Though the kiddos get to take home their gifts, participants say they too take away something special from the event, something that can't be bought in a store. I've never known a student who has gone through and taken part in this experience who doesn't come away with an extra special feeling in their heart about what the true meaning of the season is.